What is up in there, Army? I am Gamer5 coming at you with a brand new video. And welcome to In Craft Season 2! Man, it's been a. Well, I've been working on this project for quite a while. <laughs> Since the beginning of summer, I've been working on this pretty much. And, um. I'm glad we can find that I can finally show you uh, and finally start this new adventure. I know season one we didn't get to complete everything. Season two, hopefully we will. This one I expect will last a while, like season one, but we'll probably actually get everything done. With that, welcome to. The Aircraft Season 2 World! And for Season 2, kind of the main theme of everything is, um, well, uh, direction. We have four different directions. We have three biomes in each direction. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's probably better just to show from down here. Hmm. So I look at zombie. I'm going to quickly fly around. I'm gonna kind of <laughs> quickly fly around. I don't think a zombie would be here, but if we go with one of these things and find one, then that's gonna be really annoying. But as I said, there, this season is pretty much based on direction. We have south, we have west, we have north, and we have east. So, there is three bounds in each direction. Soon, in the future, I'm wanting there to be four in each direction. <laughs> but, um, I am just want to make it. Anyway, um... There are, there will be four in each direction, um, including special zones and stuff. There will be quite a bit. So, the, in, uh, the south, this is the south, there is the jungle, there's ice spikes, and there's ocean, I do believe. I don't have it up. <laughs> I was going to put it on the wall, but I clearly didn't do that. <laughs> yes, in the south there is ice spikes, ocean, and jungle. Then in the east, well, I have north listed next on, on the... Uh, in the north we have the tundra, the mountains, and the frozen ocean. Then, in the west, we have pretty much all the dry ones, desert, badlands, and swamp. Swamp is not dry, but it's swamp. Then, east is dark forest, mushroom island, and taiga. Uh, like, bit, giant taiga. So, we got a lot. Uh, we got a lot here. Um, and we have this one sun token. Which, uh, will unlock one, uh, area at first, and we can, or uh, will be able to earn more tokens over time by doing quests and stuff around the world in each direction. We could do quests here at the hub, and I'll show you about the hub in a bit. But, uh, each of these zones, as you can see, they take one sun token to enter. We only have one sun token. We don't have four sun tokens. So at first, we can only go to one zone. And the place we decide to go to first is the place we are going to be staying and making our main base. Now I've talked about this. I've thought about this quite a bit, and 
Um, I actually kind of want to go north. I want to go into the north because I think the north is going to be absolutely amazing. And, um, that and it has snow and I, I don't know why, but I really badly want to be in the snowy areas. Don't get me wrong, I love this, I love, uh, this area, the south, and I love this area. This area I want to, this area I want to go to, too, because of Badlands. I want to use a lot of clay and stuff, uh, well, terracotta now. I want to use a lot of that in my, uh, uh, builds this, uh, this season, so I kind of want to be over there. But, um... Badlands is kind of a weird biome then there's not that much there and I'd like to have a main base not in a dry area. So I think the best place for me to go is the um tundra in the north. So we're going to walk in the north for the beginning of the season and that will be our main hub and everything. So once we decide this we can't go back. We will have bases at, like in each of these zones in one biome in each zone, but uh our main base will be it uh will have like the most stuff. We'll we will consider our full home. If that makes sense. So with that uh I guess I've decided we're going to the north. And now that we've put that in there, it should have gone all the way down. I could show you where it went to. Well, that can stay open now because we select we've opened it. Now, in here, there are tokens. Now, I can't remember which ones are in this one. These are the mega tokens. Okay. So, the mega tokens are what's used to unlock each and every zone. And once again, we earn these over time by doing quests in this zone, in the zone's area, in the main air in this zone the well in the hub um hubs i guess i can say now i completely forgot these mountains and the mountains are very cool and i think i could do a lot there but i think i really want to go to tundra and in here there is the normal tokens which uh these are the uh south tokens that no, I mean, no, yeah, no, north tokens. Each and every area will have their own tokens. And these tokens are what you use to buy stuff in the uh, hub and can be used to get uh, different perks, unlock things in the main area. So, we get a stack of them. I could have done a better job at this, but I, I'm not that good at redstone. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, we have 64 North Shop tokens. And we have two North Mega tokens. And I already said which way I'm going, so. North Mega Tokens. Into Tundra we go. It's about to get very nippy. <laughs> Just making sure there's no mobs in there. Nope, there's not. Now this, this is a starter kit. Now, if you don't remember, on the year-end uh, stage, I did say that these would be a thing, but they'd come at a cost. Yes, they do. 32 North Tokens. Tokens. 
Now, these are very, the starter kits are very handy. They, they all pretty much have the exact same thing, and to get a pretty good start in each zone, I, they are a pretty good thing to have. Um, so, I guess, you know what, let's get the starter kit. Uh, yeah, let's start two. Yeah, there we go, it's taking them. Oh boy! <laughs> Look at all that! We get leather armor, which is tundra armor, which is white. We got all the tools we need. We get steak. We get two ban. We get the Inator Army banner. We get the I uh, the Inator Craft banner. We get the quest key, which is something that's coming. It's not ready yet. We also get the enhancement key, if you remember that from season one. Uh, we get snow blocks, spruce. Uh, we get uh, the the starter quest or challenge. And uh, yeah, well, I guess let's take this. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> that I break it and it doesn't give me anything. Hold on. <laughs> I always break these in creative. I never break them in survival. Okay, yeah, they're good. <laughs> I had to make sure it didn't go in here because as, while we were testing everything, it went in there. <laughs> it was really annoying. <laughs> so, I guess, let's uh, show you from the hub first and, uh, yeah. Oh, back there is everything. That is literally where all the tokens go. <laughs> and this is where all the big challenges will happen. This is the big zone we got for this. And I guess, let's show you guys the main area. So, we're gonna need to step on that pressure plate to take us to the tundra. But, what's not set up currently, what's not ready to, it's not ready yet, but this will be the North Shops. And as you, and we, even though we're, these are the Tundra Shops, even though we are going to be in the Tundra, we will also be able to be uh, in any of these shops because we have, um, uh, North Shop Tokens. And these ones are not open yet. These, This is a biome yet to come. That we do not know what it will be yet. We will have custom biomes and stuff. Like, it, we have a lot coming. Like, this is uh, just the North Shop. So, I'll, I'll quickly uh, show you guys around. These are, this is a palette of... Um, of North, uh, slap, North tokens, uh, like, like, it's meant to be ingots of them, so, <laughs> yeah, um, I'll show you guys the others, we can't go in them, we can't even buy things there yet, but, um, as you can see, there's, uh, nether portals, pretty much everywhere, and, um, that's because we do have a nether hub, to get back and forth. That's on the, um... These are rooms I cannot take you guys in. Uh, these are the plan rooms. We are working on another big planning area. That's gonna be like a bunker. <laughs> where it'll keep all supplies for these shops and stuff. 
But, um, yeah, this is the east, and you can tell which zone you're in because of the banners on the portals. This is the east. I'm just gonna run around and show you guys them right now. Uh, obviously, as I said, uh, not everything is actually ready to roll. Uh, the shops aren't really that prepared yet. This is the south. Uh, with, uh, really big trees. I wanted to do something different for the south, uh, shops, and I think I accomplished it. Um... We do have an issue of pigmen coming eventually, sometimes, it, is, it does get annoying, so, um, I don't know how to fix it though. This is the west, and honestly, pretty, it, it looks probably the coolest out of all of them, and um, then we end up back where we begun, I'm pretty sure, and that's the north. This is the north? Yes, this is the north. The north, in my view, is one of the coolest zones to be in because of the biomes that are there. We have deep frozen ocean. Um, tundra and mountains and a biome that is yet to come. It'll be, this will be so much fun. Let's actually go to the tundra and, uh, yeah, let's see it. Okay, welcome to the Tundra! This is the Colosseum for the Tundra. Each and every area has a Colosseum, but they pretty much don't uh, do challenges like in Season 1. They won't be having the challenges in them. They will give quests and stuff. But, uh, the quest board, uh, the quest stuff is not set up yet. That was something that was decided last minute, so it's not ready. But, um, this is the Tundra. It's gonna be really cool. This is the Tundra portal that, uh, we go in to get back to the hub. And hopefully by next episode, the hub will be fully set up. So... Quickly, before we head over there, that's the area I really want to actually go in. I'm, and for today's, for the first ever episode of Season 2, we have opted to keep um, it set to um, keep Daylight Cycle off so we don't have to worry about uh, finding, building our starter place first. But first things first. Let's, uh, see what we got. So, we got the Tundra armor, but let's, uh, let's read Starter. Okay. Starter kit challenge. Build a starter base. Unlike Season 1, the starter base can be as big as you want, but it has to have designs in the build that go with the zone you are in. Good luck, don't die. That's pretty much the same thing as... <laughs> So, yeah. So, let's, uh, let's gear up so that we're protected. Okay. We got my Tundra armor. I always like having this stuff up here. So that it's ready to roll. And, uh... Let's have some food with us, too. I'm gonna need to make a boat, so I'll grab that. And let's take the shulker. Okay. So, crafting table. I need a boat, so we can get to the big area that I want to set up our starter base in. There 
This could be a really bad idea. <laughs> and as you can see, it, the the Coliseum is literally on ice. <laughs> like, ah, uh, okay. Let's do this. It'll come back up. I'm not going in. Come on. Pretty sure there wouldn't be any drowns. There it is. Okay. So, this is a big uh, biome, I'm pretty sure, of snow. I'm kind of going to go where I want our uh, base to be. Oh, crap. I'm going to keep my sword out just in case. Wow. Let's, uh, let's get the high vantage point and see what's uh, around. Yo, bunny. I literally can't kill you. Where'd you go? Okay, guess I'm not killing that bunny. But <laughs> I mean, rabbit thing. Yeah, you get the point. <laughs> I'm going up here just to get a vantage point of the area. Whoa! Man, this place is snowy. And very steep. Wow! It goes on for literally miles. Or should I say chunks? <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Man. Hmm. It's honestly very nice here. I actually really like it. I'm looking around to see if we ever, if we, wow, and this backs water! Great. <laughs> Just great. I don't want to go too far away for our starter. Hmm. There's no igloo here. That's kind of surprising. I'm surprised we don't. We're not seeing any. We haven't seen an igloo. That's a baby polar bear! No way! Oh, he's mad! He's really mad! Okay! You're done! Get out of here! Okay! I thought you were- I thought you were friendly! Jeez! <gasps> okay! Not yourself! Do not go near a polar bear! They can run pretty fast, can't they? WHAT THE HELL?! 
It's because I have my sword out. I'm really getting annoyed. I can't even kill it. Okay. Maybe the time room wasn't the best call. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, run right away! Let's go! Jesus! I've never seen that! Oh my god! Let's get out of here! Jesus! Oh my god! That scared the- I'm literally shaking! I didn't- I've been around polar bears and creeper craft. They've never gone after me before. Oh my god. What the heck? Jeez. Didn't expect that. Oh. Oh my god. My heart is literally pounding. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never had that happen before! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! And they have a lot of health! That's what that says! <laughs> my god! Ah! <laughs> oh. I'm not going there right now! I want more stuff before I... Go back there in case they come after me again. So let's let's set up in the snowy um taiga biome, the other part of the tundra. Holy cow! That scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> I have a sword. And I forgot to say this. Much like season one, we still have the same rule that we can build in creative. For my starter house, I'm not building in creative. I'm going to build a big igloo. <laughs> um, I'm going to build an igloo for my starter home. I think this might be a good spot. And there's a lot of sheep here, so I'm gonna go quickly kill some. The reason why I want a bed. <laughs> Hello, sheep. Bah. Just got some wool. Woo. I know it's kind of pointless to even sleep right now. We do need a, another uh, sheep. We have two wool. We need three. I have shears. Why didn't I? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here. You know what? This is actually a perfect place to set up our uh, base. There we go. We have Six wool. I can make two beds, one mobile bed, and one away bed, and one home bed. Okay. So, uh, let's build right here, I guess. Hmm. Okay. 
I want to build it a little bit wider. Yeah, I need to build it one block wider. Okay, 64. Okay, let's redo that. Okay, we have 59 snowballs left. If you can't tell what I'm doing, I'm kind of building off the design that Minecraft has. Obviously, for, uh, if in the future, I'll build a better base. I'm going to need some, uh, grass. Dirt. Gonna need a lot more dirt. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> so, there we go so far. There we go. Gonna need to take down this tree. Which is actually good. I can I can use this wood for uh other for floors and stuff. Might be an igloo, but I'm not an animal. I, I'm still gonna Put uh wooden floors. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's let's build the outline first. Let's uh let's do this then obviously that then that then that is why we had to take down this tree. Okay. Um Need three more pieces of dirt. <laughs> what the? I just got snow on my head. <laughs> oh boy. Okay.
And I fell. <laughs> okay. No, what? Well, I probably should have kept that there. Yeah, I should have kept that there. Oopsies! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I know it's not the best starter base in the world. I know I could have easily done better. But, you know what? For me, this actually is not bad. I don't usually build a starter base like this. Yeah. This is my starter base, and I know it's not perfect, but you know what? It's better. It's better than nothing. <laughs> we'll work on it to on the next episode. I can definitely, I could definitely confirm that. Uh, I already broke my shovel. Great. Okay. There we go! Perfect! Crafting table will go there. Build a door quickly. Okay, and uh, I guess let's build, build a bed. Well, you know what, let's build both beds right now. Just so uh, we have them. Okay, beds are made. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. <laughs> Now all we need is a crafting tape, is a furnace. For that we need cob. I will do that. All right now. My cobble. You know, that's something I should have thought of giving myself. So let's put this in, in here also. We also have more steak. Uh, should I? You know what? Let's put our banner on, on the outside of that, the house. There we go. Now it feels more like home. <laughs> it's a, it's a slow start. Like everything in Minecraft, it is a slow start. Boom! Stone! Come on! Uh, 
That would be four, five, This is a weird way of mining stone. You're kidding me, right? Okay, that's six. We need two more. Okay, we have eight. We have enough for furnace now. The reason why I'm worrying about a furnace, I know we have uh, two, uh like over two stacks of over a stack of food. Uh, like two stacks of steak, which is really good. Just what we need is, um, torches. So, we have a lot of trees around us. There we go. That should give us charcoal, right? Yeah, charcoal! And we can make torches. <laughs> That's not how you make torches. Okay, there we go. I'm now my my base my view looks pretty nice. I know it's not a perfect starter base. We'll work on it on the next episode. But with that guys I'm Gamenator5, signing off, see you later, Nader Army, stay cool and have fun, and I hope to see you all in the next video. I'll hope to, I, well, I hope to see you all next weekend with the next episode of Nadercraft Season 2! I hope to do better with this season than in Season 1, and I hope to see you all next video. This is Premiere Month, so there's new series each and every week. Let's get it going and let's go! Goodbye!